So in this brief video, I'm going to describe how to solve first order ordinary differential equations with MATLAB. We're going to solve a single first order equation. Um, I'll do another one to do second order equations, which is equivalent to systems of first order equations. So our example problem for this is uh, falling paratrooper. So um, it's an 80 kilogram paratrooper falling from a height of 600 meters. Um, there's a acceleration of gravity and then there's drag on a parachute and we're looking for essentially the terminal velocity, the velocity at which the gravity and the drag forces um, match each other and there's no further acceleration. Okay, this came out of Moeller's book on numerical computing with MATLAB, which I think is an excellent book. So the governing equation is this m times acceleration, written here as dv dt, is minus the, the gravity force, which is mg, plus 4 fifteenths of the square of the velocity. Now, that's an approximation to use v squared. Um, if you really do this carefully, you probably want a slightly different exponent. And the 4 fifteenths, again, is just uh, a, a characteristic number, but um, don't take any... Uh, resemblance to reality from this. Okay, so we're just trying to do a typical equation. All right. So what we need to do is write this in, in a form dy dt is f of t and y. So the only um, deviation from this in the equation I just showed is that there's a mass times the first derivative out front. So we divide through by m and we get the equation on the bottom. dv dt is minus g plus 4 fifteenths v squared over m. So the time rate of change of v depends only on v and t, and in fact, in this case, there's no explicit dependence on t, so it just depends on v. But we could have on the right side any function of t and of the velocity. Now we're ready to solve this in MATLAB. Um, the solver we're going to use is called ODE45. There are many other solvers. There's lower order solvers 23 and there's higher order solvers and there's also stiff solvers. Um, this uses the Runge-Kutta method. It's essentially a fourth order but it um, modifies the time steps depending on how much the function is changing. So it's adapting to the variation of the of the um, function and adjusting the time um, step accordingly. So this is a fairly sophisticated uh, routine and will solve the majority of the equations you'll encounter. Um, but some equations would work better with a different solver. So this is just an example. What we have to do to solve our equation is provide the function that defines our equation, that is the right hand side of that equation on the previous slide, and initial value for v, and then we have to tell MATLAB over what time range to solve the problem. So in order to define the equation, we have to produce an m-file that defines the function, um, and that's what's seen here. So it, this variable rk is minus g plus 4 fifteenths times y squared over mass, okay? So the inputs to this are t and y, and y in this case is the dependent variable or the velocity. Okay, so y here is velocity. I could have called it v here. I suppose that would have been clear. I set up my constants. The mass is 80. The gravitational constant is 9.81 in SI units. And so then the function rk is returning minus g plus 4 fifteenths v squared over m. And that's it. Um, I put the semicolons here to so that this thing doesn't um, output to the command window every time it's called. And then since this is f of t and y, we save this as f dot m. And when we call the ODE solver, we'll tell it that we're solving this function f. Okay. So now how do we call this? Well, um, here's a script that would call it. Okay. So I set up the time range. In this case, I'm going from 0 to 30 seconds. So the time range is a vector with the first number being the starting time and the last number, second number being the, the finishing time. So I tell MATLAB to solve this for 30 seconds. I set up the initial velocity, in this case 0. The paratrooper is assumed to be static at t equals 0. And then I say ty is ODE45 of, and now it's at times the name of the function, which I call f.m. So at f, and the time range, and the initial velocity. Okay. 
So I could put these va variables directly in the call, but it, I prefer to set them up as a separate variable in case I want to change them later. Um, this is returning two things, a, a vector t and a vector y. So t is the set of uh, the list of times for which we calculate velocities. And then v is a velocity vector that gives a velocity at each of those corresponding times. So now we can just plot t versus y, set up a couple of um, axis labels, and it gives us a solution. Okay, So that's basically it. We set up a function defining the right-hand side of our differential equation the time range, initial velocity, solve it, plot it, and we come up with something like this. Okay, So this shows the velocity as a function of time. It's negative because it's moving down. Um, the velocity starts at zero, accelerates to a little over 50 meters per second in the negative direction, and reaches steady state because at that point the drag force is high enough to match the gravitational force and there's no further acceleration. Um, there are some options available uh, for some equations where MATLAB's having a difficult time solving or you need more accuracy. Um, there's relative or absolute error tolerances that you can um, that you can input into the ODE call, and um, you can set the num maximum number of steps ex and, and other options as well. Okay, so to see that, just type help ODE45. And then um, ODE options. You can look for ODE options, and that defines all the options that can that you can input. Otherwise, that's basically how you solve first order ODEs, and it's um, pretty straightforward.